Chemistry 20. This is our third lesson in the acid base unit. This is pH and pOH. In this lesson, we will explore both pH and pOH. We will look at the significant digits associated with both values and we'll work through six examples. The power of hydrogen, pH, is a measure of the concentration of hydronium ions in a solution. The pH scale is a logarithmic scale from 0 to 14. 0 being very, very acidic, and 14 being very basic. The pH calculation formulas are pH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of H3O plus in a solution. This equation can be rearranged into the concentration of H3O plus in a solution is equal to 10 to the exponent negative pH. The power of hydroxide, or pOH. pOH is a measure of the concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution. The pOH scale is also logarithmic and goes from 0 to 14. A very low value, for instance 1, represents a very basic solution while a high value, for example, 13, represents a very acidic solution. The pOH calculation formulas are the same as pH. pOH is equal to the negative log of the concentration of OH- in a solution, which can also be arranged into the concentration of OH- in a solution is equal to 10 to the exponent negative pOH. pH versus pOH. In every solution, there will be a concentration of H3O plus and OH-. If we increase the concentration of one species, the other will inversely change and will decrease. That same relationship goes for pH and pOH. For example, if the pOH of a solution is 13, that same solution has a pH of 1. And if a different solution has a pH of 12, the pOH of that same solution will be 2. This relationship can be formulated into pH plus pOH will always equal 14. This means that if we know one value, for instance pH, we can easily find the pOH of that same solution. pH pOH significant digits. For logarithmic values such as pH, any digit to the left of the decimal is not significant. For example, a pH of 1.23 only has two significant digits. Every number to the right of the decimal counts, while every value to the left of the decimal does not count. Another example, a pOH of 10.6 only has one significant digit, which would be the six to the right of the decimal. And finally, a pH of seven has no significant digits because there are no values to the right of the decimal. Calculating pH and pOH. Step number one, 
write a modified Arrhenius reaction equation. One of the products should be H3O plus or OH minus. Step number two, use stoichiometry, the molar ratio in the chemical equation, to determine the concentration of H3O plus or OH minus in the solution. Then finally, determine the pH or pOH of the solution by using the pH or pOH formula. These steps can also be done in reverse to find the initial concentration of an acid or a base. Example number one, find the pH of a 0 0.15 moles per liter solution of hydrochloric acid. Pause the video and attempt this example. Step number one, we have to write a modified Arrhenius reaction equation. And HCl is an acid, a strong acid, which will react with water. It will transfer its hydrogen to water, forming the products H3O plus and the anion Cl minus. We can then use stoichiometry to find the concentration of H3O plus. Referring to our chemistry 20 calculation chart, this is going from moles of one substance to moles of another. And remember, we can use moles per liter when going from moles of one substance to moles of another, as long as the volume of the solution does not change. In example one, we have our modified Arrhenius equation already. And we're starting with 0 0.15 moles per liter of HCl. This is at a one to one ratio with H3O plus in the chemical equation. Therefore, the concentration of H3O plus in the solution will be the same, 0 0.15 moles per liter. We can then put that into our pH calculation, which is the negative log of the concentration of H3O plus. As a result, that gives us a value of 0 0.82 as a pH. Note, there was only two significant digits starting in our calculation. Therefore, we should have two significant digits to the right of the decimal. Example number two, find the pH of a 0 0.20 moles per liter solution of barium hydroxide. Pause the video and attempt this example. Remember, barium hydroxide is an ionic compound and a strong base. Strong bases just dissociate in water. They do not react with water. So we are dissociating to form the ions Ba2 plus and 2OH minus. We can then start with the concentration of barium hydroxide and use the molar ratio in the chemical equation to find the moles of OH minus, which will be at a two to one ratio. As a result, the concentration of OH minus in the solution is 0 0.40 moles per liter. Since we have the concentration of OH minus, we can then solve for the pOH, which is equal to the negative log of the concentration of OH minus. The pOH of the solution is 0 0.40. We can then use the equation pH plus pOH equals 14. As a result, 14 minus the pOH will give us the pH value, which is 13.60. We started with two significant digits in the moles per liter value. Therefore, with our pH value, we should have two significant digits to the right of the decimal. Example number three, find the concentration 
of hydronium ions in a nitric acid solution with a pH of 3.2. Pause the video and attempt this example. Just note that a pH value of 3.2 only has one significant digit, the 2 after the decimal place. An Arrhenius equation is not actually required for this example. We can simply take the concentration of H3O plus, which is equal to 10 to the exponent negative pH. To solve for the concentration of H3O plus, which will be 6.3095 dot 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 times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. As a result, we have to round this to one significant digit. Therefore, our answer, the concentration of H3O plus in the solution is six times 10 to the negative fourth moles per liter. Example number four. Find the concentration of OH- of a potassium hydroxide solution with a pOH of 1.38. Pause the video and attempt this example. Note that a pOH value of 1.38 only has two significant digits, the 3 and 8 after the decimal place. The concentration of OH- is equal to 10 to the exponent negative pOH, which we have. So as a result, the concentration of OH- in this solution is 4.168 dot 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 times 10 to the negative second moles per liter. Rounding this to two significant digits, our answer is 4.2 times 10 to the negative second moles per liter. Example number five. What is the pH of a solution that contains 25.0 grams of HCl dissolved in 1.5 liters of water? Pause the video and attempt this example. In this case, we have hydrochloric acid, which will react with water. It will provide its hydrogen to water, forming the products H3O plus and the anion Cl minus. First, we have to find the moles of H3O plus in the solution. Then we can divide it by the volume of water used to get the moles per liter. To do this, we're gonna start with the mass of HCl. We're going to use the molar mass of HCl to find the moles of HCl. Then use the molar ratio in the chemical equation to find the moles of H3O+. The molar mass of HCl is 36.46 grams per mole. We'll start with the 25.0 grams of HCl which was provided in the question, and divide it by its molar mass to get the moles of HCl. Then we'll use the molar ratio in the chemical equation to find the moles of H3O+. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. As a result, there is 0 0.68 dot 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 moles of H3O+, in the solution. Remember, don't round this value yet. We can then take the moles of H3O plus and divide it by the total volume of the solution, which was 1.5 liters. As a result, the concentration of H3O plus in the solution is 0 0.457 dot 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 moles per liter. We can then put that into our pH calculation, which is the negative log of the concentration of H3O. As a result, the pH of the solution is 0 0.34. Example number six. A solution was made by dissolving 0 0.837 grams of strontium hydroxide 
in 100 milliliters of water. What is the pOH of this solution? Pause the video and attempt this example. Remember, strontium hydroxide is a strong base and just dissociates in water into the ions Sr2 plus and 2 OH minus. The molar mass of strontium hydroxide is 121.69 grams per mole. We are going to start with the grams of strontium hydroxide and we are going to divide it by its molar mass to find the moles of strontium hydroxide. We can then use the molar ratio in the chemical equation to find the moles of OH minus. This is a two over one ratio. As a result, we now have the moles of OH minus, which is 0 0.0137 dot dot dot. We can then divide that value by the total volume of the solution, which is 0 0.100 liters. As a result, the concentration of OH minus of the solution is 0 0.137 dot 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 moles per liter. We can then simply put that into our pOH calculation, which will be the negative log of the concentration of OH minus. As a result, the pOH of the solution is 0 0.861. Moving forward, we will look at pH indicators.